Okay, if everyone is ready, we will kick off with Matt. Warren, can I just, uh, just get your assessment on it? Um, um, yeah, I, th I think the scoreline at the end probably didn't reflect, you know, where we felt or the effort that we'd put in. You know, at 17-7 and uh, attacking in the 22 and didn't come away with anything. We'd come away. You know, maybe uh, things might have been a little bit closer, but uh, uh, we just didn't get any uh, foothold in the game in the first half and felt um, it was thought, thought there was a couple of tough calls against us in that first half. So, uh, so it was difficult to get sort of some momentum in that first half. And to be honest, they probably, in terms of between the two 22s, I mean, uh, just where they are as a team at the moment, probably winning more collisions and going and getting a bit a better go forward um, and uh, but I can't question the, the effort of the players and the, you know, just how hard they worked Yeah, it's a bit of a strange in the first half at times defended very well then you the scoreboard in 17 0 down is it, is it a difficult one to, to sort of assess from what's going on? Yeah, I think that uh, you know, we've said along that um, all along that it's about the development of this team and, and learning and we played against one of the best teams in the world and uh, with the experience I've got I think they eight or nine their players and it's uh, 23 today are over 30 you know they've been around for a while and um, so it's just making sure that uh, you know we keep keep working as hard as we've been doing and keep getting better and uh, and look forward to the next game. Feel like you were able to impose your sort of attacking game on that as much as you feel like. Yeah, probably, probably not as much. We probably weren't as clinical as we wanted to be. There was a, a few turnovers and a, a few errors there, so um, uh, you know, didn't really give us that opportunity to, to to be able to shift the ball and to and to play. But you know, like I said, they are they are a, they are a good side both both on attack and defence, and there wasn't it, we didn't create a huge amount of space. This performance now, do you pull it apart or do you sort of just park it quickly? And... No, I think it's, it's all about the learnings from this. this uh, for us, it's all about um, you know, talking individually to players about you know, how, the, how they found it out there, what did they learn from that, how are they going to be better better next time as, a, as an individual. Um, and so that's, that's the important part for us to make sure that we just keep working hard and, and keep getting better. What do you think some of these younger players are learning about the game? Just about the pace and the intensity, the physicality, um, yeah, the accuracy of decision making, and those sorts of things. You know, those, those are they, those are the big learnings for for uh, for a number of players out there. It's that from a from a player's perspective, can you take much out of this game? Yeah, I think you can take a huge amount. Um, obviously, that's where that's where we want to be as a team. Personally, I, I've seen where I want to get to as a player. And, I'm sure the rest of the team has as well. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push and work hard every day to, to make sure we get to that level until we do. Gary, what are you looking for with France? What do you take back from us? I think we take a huge amount. We showed some some great heart and character today. As I said, you know, it, I thought the scoreline's probably not right, but it does reflect with the difference between the two sides at the moment, where we are and where they are in terms of that experience. And um, yeah, so, like as, as Dev just said, we'll just keep keep working as hard as we can. And um, you know, like I said, I was disappointed in that first half and felt that were it was difficult to get the sort of momentum. I think it was only 13 minutes ball and play time, you know. Um, and we talk about the laws of the game and trying to be. Um, uh, a positive and make it more attractive for the uh, for the fans. I'm not sure that the players were, of both teams were responsible for the amount of stoppages in that in that first half. Uh, 
Yeah, he's going to be good, isn't he? So he's um, he, he's calm. He's he, he, I think you know, we're really pleased with him, and he's he's only going to get better. Alex. Nine penalties better start than I think twelve at the end. What was so the difference? Was that the players grapple spawn or spoke at half time is if you go through the penalties and you'll think we we uh, you know, we questioned whether you know, some of them were some pretty tough calls we felt in the first half and and you know, our we've worked hard on terms of Trying to be accurate and, and, and not be um, ill-disciplined, giving away soft, um, easy ins or easy outs for for the opposition. So yeah, I was when I've looked at a number of those, we've been okay. There's a couple of offsides with just you know there, and then a couple of other penalties for sealing off. And I thought, oh, those are those are pretty tough calls. I mean, you could get anyone on, on both teams probably 30 or 40 occasions for exactly the same thing. So, um, but yeah, that's. We just got to take that on on the chin, and um, so th- you know, if, even for that, for the first half, I thought we, you know, we came out and we stayed in the game, and we, I thought we, you know, showed some real character in, in fight, um, you know, probably up to that seventy minute point. That one in the first half, it was all going against you. All of a sudden, messages from the referee that it's clearly out was giving them the message. Yeah, obviously you, you have to res- respect his decisions because he's only only calling what he's seeing. Um, yeah, in terms of messages to the players, we're just trying to stay as clean as possible, getting out the way of the breakdown, um, giving our jackals a chance to get over the ball. Um, yeah, it, it was frustrating because we, we were killing ourselves a bit there. Okay. Any, yep, at the back. Warren, you know what it takes to win Grand Slams. Do you believe this Ireland team can go where no team has gone before and went back to back Grand Slams? Yeah, I think they're capable of definitely capable of doing it. They've got the experience and um, the composure and, and uh, players and carrying getting on, on the on the front foot. So yeah, the I think they'll be a hard team to knock over. Okay, in the corner. At Warren, I think just crazy look at what number attacking number so far. You've probably limited Ireland as well as any team attacking wise in this competition yet. Yeah. Is there anything specifically that yeah, we we've we spoke at half time and I it just said at half time that basically they didn't trouble us in phase play. You know, really didn't um, for that whole first half and you know, we conceded off uh, um, them allowing, allowing them to get in their twenty two ones obviously a driven line out where the backs have uh, entered and a scrum was under a little bit of pressure early on as well and so it was just that was um, you know something we worked really hard on all week in terms of identifying when they were sweeping with players coming around, just loosening off a little bit defensively. And I thought um, uh, on, on the whole we did a really good job of that. Is that the main reason why you didn't probably take your face player? Was that was the main thing you identified, or was it anything else as well? Um, no, that's, that was probably the stuff. That was the biggest thing that the been clinical in terms of uh, the way that they've caught teams when they when they sweep around when they when, um, shorten teams up probably defensively get too too narrow and we just we'd worked pretty hard on on loosening off defensively and uh, and making sure that we followed the numbers splitting our midfield and as well at, um, so that we that we numbered up and I thought we did a really good job on that David even though the score as harsh as it was doesn't reflect this, do you feel that this was progress for the team in terms of where you're trying to go? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that the players would have got the most out of today. And I, I, I look back on my own career and um, as a, as a player and playing for for Waikato against Auckland after the. 87 World Cup, and they probably had a number of All Blacks, and they put 40 points on us, and we were we were starting to become a good team. And for me, I was coming off that experience, going, I want to play them next week because that's how much I learned as a player, and that's what you know, I hope these guys are getting the same sort of experience, um, you know, from that. And you know, a couple of years later, we ended up being you know, turning turning the tables on on them, and I have no doubt that. It was part of this where we're going. 
this, this team's going to be an excellent team going forward when we when we get some more experience. Okay. Anyone else? We'll leave it there then. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you.